Good day. I'm Ted Denton, Mayor of Rochester, and I have the distinct pleasure of being here today uh, to help recognize one of our volunteer firemen, Fireman Dave Lawson here. And uh, Dave has done something kind of extraordinary, and uh, we'd like to recognize him for that. I'm going to turn it over now to uh, Fire Chief Tom Butler to make our presentation. Tom. Thank, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the Rochester Fire Department hereby awards the Chief's combination to Firefighter Dave Lawson. On January 19th, while returning home after an early morning medical call, you had the awareness to spot heavy smoke coming from the home in Monticello Road. You stopped, you called dispatch to alert the fire department, then you beat on the doors to awake all the occupants at 1.30 in the morning. There's no question, had you not been aware of your surroundings and saw the smoke coming out of the house that night, that it would have been a tragic outcome. The four people in our home owe, owe their lives to you. Dave, your actions bring great, great credit upon yourself, the fire department, and the city of Rochester. Thank you. Ms. Mary, you want to help? Fireman Lawson, appreciate your efforts. We appreciate your service. We know this family certainly appreciates your, your existence, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, he's one of 30 of our volunteer firemen who are lifeblood of our fire department uh, in the system. We have seven great full-time firemen out there, but it's our volunteers who help support that effort. We wouldn't be able to do it, Chief, without them, would no, we? No, we wouldn't. Thank you, Firefighter Lawson. Thank you. Would you like to uh, comment on uh, on the day and what happened and how um, you came upon this situation? Like I read, we had the medical call at, it was around, I think, 1.14 or yeah. something. Um, now, when you say medical call, would you explain to the folks what that, how that comes about? Um, it was a medic assist with the ambulance. It was an unresponsive person at Walmart. Um, Okay. We, were, we were going there, and actually it turned out before we even got there, we got disregarded um, because from what I found out, the guy was sleeping out there, and then he ended up leaving before we even got there. So disregarded means it was a false, false alarm. False, false, false alarm. alarm. Okay. So, okay. yeah, we got lucky, went out, and then on my way home, I had rounded the corner there on Monticello Road and just happened to see all the smoke coming out of the eaves and out of the vents of the house. Okay. So I immediately um, got out, made contact with dispatch. And then started because I could see two vehicles in the driveway, and I live on that road, so I knew there was probably people there. So I made contact with them and got them out. And uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, killers of folks in a fire would be smoke inhalation. That's a Correct. serious situation, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, um, they did have working smoke detectors. Unfortunately for them, the fire was all above in the attic space. Oh, so okay. The, um, so the, the smoke detectors did not, not sense the smoke because it was all up above their heads and burning off. Uh, had not Dave come across when he did, I truly believe that that space would, would have been totally consumed by fire and would have collapsed on them. Like I said, it would have been a tragic outcome. Mm -hmm. So um, just kind of the sequence of events um, and just like I said, he, his awareness and able to spot that. Uh, was uh, truly uh, a blessing for the family involved. Now, even though you'd been on a medical call, you didn't have any equipment with you or yeah, anything. Yeah, none going. of my gear, because um, all my gear's at the station. Okay, so you went in like this. Right, yeah, just my blue jeans and t-shirt on. Well, again, thank you so very much for your efforts. Not a problem. For the, one, one thing if I could add for the citizens, uh, one thing that we learned from this is that it was a rentals that they, they were renting the property and these people unfortunately did not have renters insurance we're talking as little as a hundred to two hundred dollars a year for renters insurance so one thing that we want to pass on and we take this moment to, to maybe have the citizens attention is to is to contact your insurance company everyone's supposed to have auto insurance and if you add this with your auto insurance it, it's like i said it's it's pennies on the dollar and the benefits are huge in the event that, that your property does involve in fire and like i said dave and i sitting there with the family, thankful that they were unscathed, but, but looking at their, their belongings filled with smoke and soot, um, it does cost money to replace those items. So, so please, even if you're renting, uh, check with your agent and get, get proper renter insurance. Make sure your batteries and your smoke detectors are working as well. Good advice, Chief, and uh, thank you, and, and thank you, David. Yep, thank you, guys. Yeah.